Hello, and welcome to Theater 360. I'm Miranda Palumbo, bringing you the latest news from the Broadway community. Forget going for the gold, Adina Menzel is going for the platinum. This Broadway star, seen here in her most recent stage concert appearance, had her fair share of good news this past week. Her single, Let It Go, from the hit animated movie Frozen, went platinum. In addition, Menzel received word that she will perform this song at the 2014 Oscar Awards. Let It Go is nominated for Best Original Song, and Frozen is nominated for Best Animated Film. If that weren't enough, Menzel will return to the Broadway stage in less than a month in the show, If Then. Speaking of If Then, the show offered a special present to select fans. The cast performed selections from the score at the cutting room the day before Valentine's Day. In order to receive tickets for the concert, fans entered a contest on the show's Facebook page. The prize was two free tickets to the concert. Broadway media outlets got a front row seat. Take a look. Look down each row left untaken. Trace every turn and twist. Lives that we just let go by. The dreams we might have missed. Now, now we're, we're old enough, enough to know. Broadway.com's featured poll asked Broadway stars which famous person they would like to share a meal with. So, this week I asked a few University of Tampa students which Broadway star they would like to have across the dinner table. If I had to eat dinner with any Broadway star, I would definitely pick Steve Kazee. Uh, he was recently uh, the lead role in the musical Once. If I had to pick which Broadway star or Broadway stars I would sit with, it would my top three would definitely be Idina Menzel, shocker, um, Barbara Streisand, and Christian Chenoweth. Jonathan Groff. I would go to dinner with Anthony Rapp to discuss um, his previous performances and his new performance in If Then. I couldn't pick just one. For me, I would definitely invite Sierra Bogus, Jeremy Jordan, Idina Menzel, Kristen Chenoweth, and just about every other Broadway star I could think of. The cold never bothered Broadway. Even in the wake of one of the worst snow seasons the Great White Way has ever seen, all shows continued performances last week. The snowpocalypse didn't keep viewers from their seats, and some shows even offered special snow day ticket deals. According to BroadwayWorld.com, citygoers could see Bronx Bombers for $40 a ticket, or the Bridges of Madison County for $35 a ticket. I know I would want to spend a snow day in a Broadway theater. Fighting champion Rocky Balboa made his way to the Broadway stage this past week. The show Rocky began previews February 13th. Sylvester Stallone made a special appearance at the show's finale. The original Rocky helped the cast celebrate a successful opening and made a curtain call speech. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to find things in your life that are really exciting. After what I've been through, I had an incredible life. Actually, I was born about nine blocks from here. Yeah. It only took 67 years to get here. Uh, it shows you how Rocky moves slowly. <laughs> but we got here. And what's more important is this character, I had no idea when we wrote this and how it would turn out. And that people like Tommy and Lynn, Stephen, Alex, Margo, Andy, Terrence, would bring these characters to life. The show opens March 13th. Samantha Hill is in the spotlight this week. Hill is known for her most recent performance of Cosette in the Toronto production of Les Miserables. Hill will return to the role in America when the revival opens at the Imperial Theatre March 1st. She will be replacing Charlotte Maltby, who was set to make her Broadway debut. 
No explanation was given as to why Hill assumed the role. That is all the time we have. I will see you next week for more Theater 360.